She took the witness stand during an emotional hearing on resentencing of her eight-year-old sister's killer. Today, Jesse Clifton, who was 11 at the time of the crime, sat down with News 4 Jax to explain why she feels Josh Phillips should never be allowed to go free. If you've done something so horrible that you're 14, get tried as an adult, I really don't think that I or anyone else would feel comfortable with changing that. I, I don't think there's any reason to change that. After having just a short time to decompress from four days of painful testimony in a courtroom, and after seeing her sister's murderer face to face, Jessie Clifton is now sharing her thoughts on this week's emotional experience. She says she and her family could never have imagined how painful it would be to sit through Joshua Phillips' resentencing hearing. Channel 4's Chris Parento was in court each day and sat down one-on-one -on -one with Jessie Clifton today. Chris, it's difficult for so many of us who ached along with the Clifton family as they endured their pain then. And now to see them have to live through it all over again. A very difficult week for the entire Clifton family. And Jesse Clifton said that being in court all week was emotionally, mentally, and physically exhausting. She says she woke up this morning feeling like she had been hit by a truck. It just doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like that was my life. It was. It's not anymore. Living in the house that she grew up in is something Jesse Clifton knew she wanted to do. This is Maddie's room right here. Um, I don't really go in here. Um, it's hard for me to. Memories really are everywhere. Our matching Jaguar sweatshirts. Clifton is still coming to grips with what happened in court this week. She says really only one thing came as a surprise. Wednesday afternoon, when Josh Phillips took the stand and apologized. Was that an apology you wanted to hear? An apology you feel like you needed to hear? I do. I think it was something that needed to be said. Um, I think that I still don't really know how I feel about it. She says she applauds Phillips for what he did. But one thing she's not in a position to do is forgive him. And so anytime this forgiveness word is brought up, all I see is, you know, that guy on the stand just showing how he did it. And it's just like, how, how do you expect me to take on that burden to forgive you? I can't. Clifton also told me seeing Phillips walk into the courtroom on Monday for the first time, she felt for hours like she couldn't breathe. But if a judge rules he will spend the rest of his life in prison and get a review on that after 25 years, going back to court for that review is something she will be glad to do. You know, if it has to be done, it has to be done. Because I'm, I will get up here and I will sit here and I'll fight for her until I'm no longer on this earth. And I always will. She was my best friend, and I will always fight for her. Because <laughs> I know if it was the other way around, she'd do it for me. Yesterday in court, I gave the same opportunity to Josh Phillips' mother to sit down and talk about the week that was and all that has happened through the years. She told me that when she was ready, she would get in touch. To this point, that has not happened. Tom?